Hello, my name is Rick Wilpert with the Harkin Tech Team. Today I'm here with engineer Drew Kosnowski, where we're going to talk about some advantages of our and improvements that we've made in our snatch block line. At Harkin, we've been making snatch blocks for quite a long time. This one will look familiar to a lot of people, I'm sure. It's a uh, pop open with the button that would have a shackle there and the gray padding. This one was only good for 1.6 tons. As we saw room in the market, we started making higher load snatch blocks. Uh, this is another older one. This is a five ton soft attach block that we made for many years. And then the most recent redesign would be uh, this five ton soft attach block. Let me take you on a tour of Harkin's current high load soft attach snatch blocks. So as you, you undo the Velcro to bring the, uh, to free one side of the Dyneema loop, the other side of the Dyneema loop is held in place by the Velcro still as it's sewn on one side and then run through the side plate to keep that secure. Uh, it's got 6061 T6 aluminum side plates, uh, same material for the shiv. It's got a sleeve bearing to take all the axial load on it and then Torlan ball bearings to take the thrust load within the block. The inner race is titanium and the thimbles uh, that hold the Dyneema loop on are aluminum, but then they have a Delrin cover on them to not damage the deck of the boat when it's laying there. Drew in engineering, you guys are seeing failures like this from time to time. What does a failure or bending like this typically cause from? Uh, recently, Harkin has made some changes to the high load snatch blocks to help the block align better, and in the event that it doesn't align, make it less likely for the plates to bend like this. Uh, this has been based off of customer feedback um, from getting a few examples of this happening in the field. Uh, when the block is not aligned perfectly, uh, if the blocks align straight, there's never a problem, but in the rare instance that you did get off axis loading, the plates could bend. The most obvious change is switching from the II strap that we had been using to a plain loop. Uh, the loop allows the block to shift around a little more as it's loaded compared to the II strap, which would take a set and then could sometimes choose a side, causing the block to shift, which would be a bad situation. Uh, another change was using a little bit of stickier Velcro to ensure that the loop really stays on in place. While it's a little bit bulkier than the Velcro we had been using, uh, customers seem to prefer the stickiness of the newer Velcro. A another change was to the side plates. I buried the edge of the shiv groove and recessed it within the side plate to make sure that there's no chance that a loaded line could catch the edge of the shiv. It has to be guided into the groove. And on the three larger sizes, the inner race has been switched from stainless steel to titanium to reduce the weight of the block uh, in the shiv. So if the block is lying on the deck and gets loaded quickly, it's more likely to come up in a line as, to, uh, as opposed to being potentially a little leggy with more weight there where it could be slow and choose a side of the shiv. What didn't need to be changed is shiv is the same, the bearings are the same, the ears and the thimbles that hold the strap on, that's all the same. The physical size of the block, that's all the same. Load rating is the same for all of them throughout the range. My favorite part of the changes that we made has been the titanium inner race that we added to the larger sizes as this reduces weight um, and specifically in the area of the block where we want to reduce weight to get it to be more balanced when the line loads up. Once again, this is Rick from the Harkin Tech Team and Drew from Engineering. Um, if you have any more questions about any of this, give me a call. That's what we're here for.